Welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. Today I've got my Lone Star Grills insulated mini fired up and I'm going to be doing an all natural free range chicken that I got from Matador Prime Steak Company. I'm going to show you a really good technique for barbecue chicken. Now this recipe was sent to me by Matt over at Matador Prime Steak. This is what he does on chicken wings for his competitions. He, he does competition barbecue as well. So I can't wait to show you this. I can't wait to try it for my first time. And we'll get started right after this. We're gonna get this show rolling with this chicken right here in front of me. This is a all natural free range chicken that I got from Matador Prime Steak Company. It's a small young chicken. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this backbone. And the easiest way to do that is usually with a pair of shears. Now these shears are actually made for poultry. You can use some good heavy duty uh, kitchen shears as well. Young chicken is going to make this a little bit easier job. You just want to run through your chicken here, clipping these bones. That's something you don't see every day. The neck and all is still in place. That shows you right there that this is not a store bought chicken. Now, on the website, I believe they said the average chicken is around four pounds. I'm not exactly sure about this one. All right, so I'm going to take and just finish that off with my knife. Just like that. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife. And right in here, I'm going to make an incision. Right through this breastplate. And as you can see, it's starting to lay open. But yeah, look over and look for anything that's not trimmed up to your liking. To me, it's looking pretty good. Let's flip it back over. Looking good. I'm just going to pat this dry somewhat. It still has quite a bit of moisture on it. I'm going to be using a brand new rub. Brand new rub to me anyway today. It's made by Swan Life. It's called the Mississippi Grind. I watched a video from Malcolm Reed over at How to Barbecue Ride about a month ago, a little over a month ago, and he was featuring this rub. Mississippi Company, it's got our state on there. Had to try this, absolutely had to try it. And it's good on all meats. It's got a picture of a cow, a chicken, and a pig. We're going with chicken, so let's check this rub out. Oh, I'll tell you one thing, this rub has a outstanding smell to it. Can't wait to try this. All right, so we're just gonna put a moderate coat on this. Don't wanna to go too heavy. About what you're seeing right here. Loving the way this rub is free flowing out of this bottle. All right, so we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna apply a good rub to the back side as well. Cannot wait to try this rub. Has a really good smell. And that's usually a good indicator as to how it's going to taste. All right, so we're going to get this thing fired up. I left me a little corner here in the fire, fire box. That has some lit charcoal. And as you can see, I'm only using about one third of the capacity of this fire box. And it won't even take half of that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and lay some smoke wood on here. This is pecan all right going in close her up now I'm gonna monitor the tips the temps is 77 degrees internal right now inside the chamber and once I get this up to around 200 I'll start choking down the intake and the upper vent as well I've already dropped my thermometers in here as you can see this one's monitoring great temp this one will be to probe the chicken I'm going to take my chicken 
and we're going to lay this right on the grate just like so and you might be asking yourself why didn't I use an oil or, or some sort of a binder before I put this rub as you can see it has pulled the moisture from the chicken and it has completely has like a wet surface now it's extracted that moisture and that's the reason we've done that and you might also be asking yourself what's the advantage of spatchcock over a whole chicken well look at it it's laying flat which enables even cooking and it also speeds up the cooking time that's it in a nutshell now what I'm going to do is monitor the chicken breast shooting for well we're not shooting for anything just yet we're only gonna let this go for roughly one hour just to apply the smoke and I'll bring you back at that point and I'll show you what we're doing next all right we have been going around 45 minutes so the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at our chicken and it's just now starting to get some color but it's definitely been getting smoked so what I'm doing at this point we're gonna let that chicken keep going but I've got aluminum pan here now this is the the tip that I got from Matt over at Matador Meats and it is pouring down rain and I hope I'm coming over it seems like every weekend when I get ready to do a video it rains I've got four sticks of butter I'm using this lazy magnolia southern pecan I'm using pecan smoke I have a beer made with pecan now he didn't say what kind of beer to use but this is my own choice here this is a local brewery by the way we're going in with four sticks of butter two of these southern pecan beers and I'm also going in with more of the Mississippi grind All right, I'm going to push this back in here and we're going to let this heat up, let all the butter melt, then we'll give it a good stir. And at some point, that chicken is going to go in here, we're going to cover it, and we're going to let it simmer for a good 40 minutes. But for right now, this is all we're doing. All right, so we've been going around 30 more minutes. Let's let this smoke clear out of here. i tell you what. I couldn't have picked the worst day to do this. Oh yeah, we got all of our beer and butter melted. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this bird. All right, now what I'm gonna do is take some aluminum foil and we're going to cover this tightly. And we're gonna let this sit here and simmer for a good 45 minutes. All right, we're nice and covered. We're going to close this. What this is going to do, let me close my lid first. What this is going to do, it's going to add and keep moisture in the chicken for one, and the simmering of it is going to make this chicken very tender, very juicy. We'll finish it off back in the smoker. I'll bring you back to that point a little later. This very well may go down as the hardest cook I've ever had to try to pull off for my YouTube channel because of the weather. It is just torrential rains right now. It was on and off intermediate earlier. Now it's just a steady downpour of thunder and lightning. And all I have is this little 10 by 10 pop-up that's trying to protect me, the cameras, and the smoker. <sighs> Lord, got to make the show go on though, right? I got rained out last Sunday. I just said, forget it. We'll do it next week. And so this is next week and here we go again anyway i'm gonna make a glaze for this chicken and what i'm using is gq hottish barbecue sauce quickly becoming my favorite barbecue sauce as long as his rub the guy owns a uh, barbecue restaurant in colorado but before that he was doing competition barbecue and he started a youtube channel probably about a year and a half two years after i started mine and check him out the guy will give you some sure enough great barbecue ideas and recipes i'll have a link in the description box anyway we're just going to guesstimate at this we're going in probably i'm going to say about three quarters of a cup of his sauce i'm going to add into that one half stick of butter and here i have 
from Jacobson Sea Salt Company. This is smoked honey sauce. This is a real thin honey, but this is what's going to give it that glaze and that sheen along with the butter. I've actually done this before off camera and it's a great combination. So my internal temp is 160 degrees. We've been going roughly 40 minutes in this summer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this foil. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. I'm going to grab this chicken. We're going to put it back on the grate. We're going to close that. We're going to remove this. I don't want no kind of moisture interfere or anything. I'm, I'm fixing to show you something else I'm going to do. All right, we're going to close this up. Now, step over here and take a look at this. Normally, I would take and I would put a bucket under this, but it's flooding, it's raining, who cares? We're draining the water pan out. Go ahead and open my vent, bottom vent. I'm going to open my top vent, and we're going to crank this puppy up about 325 to 350 degrees. By removing the water, it's going to help bring this up to temperature very fast. We're going to get some color on this bird, and then right there at the end, we're going to put that glaze. All right, according to my thermometer, I am at 165 degrees internal temperature, which is ideal, but we're not done yet. Chicken's one of the things you can actually go up to 175 and still be good. It's, it's not going to dry out on you. But this is not going to take long. We have our glaze. And we're simply just going to glaze this. I'm using a chain brush because if you are in competition, you want that to look like a solid a solid paint job kind of if you know what I'm saying it you don't want to see brush brush marks on that so this this actually allows for that I could care less I'm all about the flavor I'm all about backyard barbecue but thought I would share that with you anyway a lot of people take like chicken thighs and they'll dip them into the sauce just to prevent the brush marks is that looking good or what Oh yeah. I'm going to leave this on here about another 10 minutes. Just kind of set this sauce, this glaze. And I'll meet you inside. We're going to do a taste test. So we are done. I'm going to take and I'm going to cut this right down the middle. And we're going to separate this into two halves. Just like we have here. And from here, I want to take and try a drumstick. Here we go. You talk about some flavor and some juice. When I bit into that skin, it like erupted right on my lips. It's very hot. You talk about good. Mmm. I don't know if you can tell in the camera just how juicy that is. It is full of juice, full of flavor. The Mississippi grind from Swine Life mixed with the GQ barbecue sauce along with the honey and the butter is a win. I'm telling you, this is really, really good barbecue chicken. This is what you're shooting for. I want to thank Matt from Matador Prime Steak Company for sharing his competition style chicken. Like I said earlier, he does it with wings, but it will work on a spatchcock just as well. This is living proof right here. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate that. I hope you all go over there and check out uh, Matador Prime Steak Company. Yeah, they got chicken too, so check them out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, smoke your ribs.